this is your first time here, welcome to Labyrinth City, home to both danger and opportunity. Like the name suggests, this metropolis is a maze where young men and women risk their lives daily. My name's Nick, a swashbuckler with a group of adventurers called the Masters of War. I've got a girlfriend and a plan to make our party reach A rank. Yeah, life is pretty good. You're out. We'll get along much better without you around. Huh? I looked up to Argus like a father. Now he's kicking me out. Huh. Well, guess we're through. Huh? Dumped and betrayed by the girl I loved. I was completely gutted. Why, Argus? You're so wrong. Garoso stole from us over some girl and you want me to forgive him? This is about more than just Garoso. The fact is, you don't have the right mindset to be an adventurer. <laughs> you were a kid when I took you in and taught you everything I knew. Now, you're acting like you're the one calling the shots. That's what this is about? You and I are done talking. <laughs> Bottom line is we have different ways of handling things. There's only room for one leader here. You're better off with your own party. Another party? Arcus, I... And to think, I looked up to you. Where do I go from here? Forget your umbrella? You don't look like one. Well, I'm just starting out, but I'm working really hard. So, why talk to me? Uh, that's my job. Cheering people up and restoring their courage. <laughs> See you at Southgate Hall tomorrow! Yeah, no. You better be in the crowd, Mr. Stray Dog! <laughs> but I just said I wasn't going. and I'm gonna earn it honestly. Wait for me, Agat! <laughs> okay. Hey there. Nick, you're not cut out to be an adventurer. Join a party? <gasps> After what I've gone through, how am I supposed to trust anyone? Better luck next time. <sighs> I couldn't talk to a single person in there. Staff. 
It looks pretty old, not to mention expensive. And then there's the quality of her clothing. Clearly, she's from a wealthy family. One that must have loved her unconditionally. The thing is, she sticks out like a sore thumb here. It looks like she's a mage. But then again, she could be an assassin. That cleric's already been drinking tonight. Is he with the two girls? No, don't think so. He left a cabaret club. I can still smell the perfume. And no metal either, meaning he was excommunicated. Cleric is a popular job, yet everyone's ignoring him. And there's the Dragonian, who's seen more than her share of battles. But she reminds me of a wounded animal. Here's to Argus, my beautiful ex-girlfriend, and the gloomy bastards in front of me. Screw adventuring. Screw falling in love. Anyone I meet will end up betraying me later. I'll never be able to trust anyone again. What if Argus was right? Maybe I'm not cut out to be an adventurer. All I know is... <laughs> from the daughter of the Erenefelt clan. Only a mage who's mastered both water and wind magic can pull off that spell. I'm not learning magic for fame or to become powerful. I'm doing it to train my mind. There's no one quite like you, Tiana. Despite your skills wielding multi-element magic, you've managed to remain humble. You are the pride and joy of this academy. I appreciate your kind words, Master. Magic is a sacred tool. It doesn't simply exist to make our daily lives easier. To become a mage and truly learn the art, not only do you need to have an understanding of human society, but the world itself. Good to see you. Is Alex waiting for me? Mm, he's here, but... It's fine. Can you bring me some tea? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how silly you are? Alex! <clears throat> Tiana, hi. You're in a cheerful mood. You have no idea. Guess what happened? <laughs> You've astonished your teachers with another amazing spell, no doubt. <laughs> you should have seen their faces when I showed them I could wield lightning magic. At this rate, I'll graduate a year early. Oh, wow. Really? I'm shocked. She's exactly like the rumor said. Hmm? Who is this? My name is Lynn, and I'm the eldest daughter of the Delcott family. Oh, those merchants who struck it rich. Stop making her sound like a commoner. Huh? From what I hear, you've persistently bullied her at school, too. Huh? It's obvious. You've always had it out for Lynn. Don't try denying it. What are you talking about? Let's not forget how she seduced our teachers. Such lies! Not only have you insulted me, you've disrespected the entire school! Would you drop the act? Everyone knows that teachers gladly accept bribes to change students' grades. But that's ridiculous, I... I've had enough, Tiana! <gasps> enough of what? You don't know. All right. You're either constantly bragging about your magic or talking down to people who aren't as rich as you. Not to <gasps> mention how you claim all your hard works for my sake. When have you ever done anything for me? Ha! You couldn't help being the top student and making me seem beneath you. People are talking. I was supposed to be in the mages union like my father, and now my fiancé is better than me. Are you that clueless? Alex. It's all over. My days of being humiliated by you as well as our engagement. Uh. Tiana. As long as I've known you, you've only thought of yourself. Ha <laughs> ha 
As long as I've known you, you've only thought of yourself. Even now, who do you see in front of you? Maybe this whole time, I have been too self-absorbed. Sorry, no letter of recommendation, no job. A noble woman like yourself wouldn't last a day here. Keep on moving. We've already got enough employees. <sighs> Finding work's harder than I thought. You can do it! You can do it! Pull ahead! Almost there! Faster! Come on! scary how addictive betting is. I couldn't stop. Then I shared that inevitable fate of all gamblers. I lost it all. There goes my rent. What now? Hey, you're a mage, aren't you? dumped you. You're not the first. What do you know about pain? Wow, bit harsh, don't you think? Why not share your story? <laughs> Since you asked, hmm? uh, the city I come from is known for medicinal herbs and its temple to the god of divine inspiration, Medlar. At one point, I was cleric there. without you, Meryl. You're truly a blessing. <laughs> Here's a little something for your help. someone closer to your own age. Congratulations are in order. Oh. It's just I've heard something about you being promoted to High Cleric. <laughs> as young and inexperienced as I am, I'm afraid I wouldn't be worthy of such a noble title. Out of the way! Uh. Is Zem in there? What? 
What's going on? <gasps> Mira! Did someone hurt you? <clears throat> Who did this to you? <laughs> Don't play dumb with us. As if you didn't try and buy her silence. <sighs> what are they talking about? How could you, Father Sim? I trusted you! <sighs> Think you're too good for the food here? Your holiness. Three months. That's how long I was locked up before being banished. Nobody believed I was innocent. Get out of our city! You filthy pervert! I was a fool forever putting my faith in you! Oh, hello, Father. Welcome. Are you on a pilgrimage? Something like that. <sighs> you look like you're in need of some healing. Hmm. Did you sleep well? The pain in my back is gone thanks to you. But you saw for yourself. Chronic back pain takes time to heal. It doesn't go away after one night. So don't overwork yourself. Huh. Well then, guess you'll just have to stay a while longer. I was joking. In all seriousness, I think you should go to Labyrinth City and become an adventurer. <laughs> go and make some new friends. Experience love. Everyone deserves to let loose once in a while. It's a big world and you shouldn't be afraid to see it. You're not a criminal. You're not, right? No, I'm not. But still. That reminds me. I've got something for you. Thank you, but I can't take these. The church accepts donations, don't they, Father? Indeed. Whose were they? Some idiot stayed here once and left it as collateral to pay for a room. You have to make a living. True. Then you ended up taking a bit too much of a liking to the ladies, is that it? I would have worded it differently, but essentially, yes, that's what happened. What do you expect? You're a guy, after all. <laughs> well, it's not like I believe everything you guys are telling me. They're just stories shared over some beers. Tales from a group of strangers that I'm never gonna see again after tonight. I mean, we're all in the same boat. Yes. You have a point. Well, actually, when I'm done here, I'm off to defeat the Demon King. <laughs> so? It's your turn next. <laughs> What's my story? I was robbed. Something important was taken away from me. By someone who was important in my life. <sighs> so I says to the guy, go ahead and try taking it, because there's no way I'm gonna She's let you. She's one of those sloppy tricks. <laughs> Of course, I'm hanging on your every word. So anyways, I said to the guy, you know, come on and try. Oh, wow. You're the best boyfriend a girl could ask for. The thing is... We're over. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Girls don't like pushy guys. Where do you have that? <laughs> really? I couldn't ask for a better mark. What would I do without you, Nick? Hold on, Claudine! <laughs> Tell me this is some kind of bad dream! <sighs> yeah, it's killing me. <sighs> Who are these people? Uh, there's more? So 
get out of my room. Also, where the hell am I? First off, I'm Tiana, the mage, and secondly, you're in my room. You all need to leave, not me. Well, that was a night. I feel so embarrassed. Me, me both.
And doing that is what led us all here. So I think... we need to be a little skeptical of each other. Still... I want to believe in you. Uh, well, sure. Trust me, you're not alone. All of us want to believe. The Sticky Aqueducts. Our party's rated G rank, which currently only gives us access to three labyrinths. Before we get promoted to F, we need to hit two of them and defeat the bosses there. You make it sound like it'll be a cinch. Actually, it's not that difficult. This basically serves as a practice area for us to learn the ropes. Tiana and I have never seen combat, so just a fair warning. And I can't imagine anything I picked up at school being too useful here. Don't worry. I doubt anyone's going to die. Then again, there's a chance if you get to... Anyone else see that? Just me. Found it. <laughs> that thing? Yep. I present the survivor's first prey. A slime. It's much cuter than I was expecting. It's chewing on grass. Is that grass yummy? A slime might look perfectly harmless to you, but they'll eat anything. Once they grow, they'll start preying on farmers' cows. That does sound like a problem. Good news is, you can defeat them by grabbing their core. <gasps> we'll exchange these for money, so don't leave any behind. Any questions? <laughs> no, Professor Nick. <laughs> Joining a party is a bit of a gamble. Is that why you said yes? Hey, Professor Nick? Zem's breaking Law 1 and interfering with my hobbies. My mistake. <laughs> if you're busy talking instead of paying attention, you're going to regret it. Okay, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe forming a team with these three was the right move after all. Feels like we have more in common than we first thought. I realize they're monsters, but it still feels wrong taking a living creature's life. I know, but it's necessary. If we leave the miasma, normal plants and animals become oh. monsters. Not only that, if you don't call their numbers, the labyrinths grow larger. Think of it as doing a service. All right, but why did their kind attack us in the first place? There's been extensive research done on finding a way to communicate with them. Regardless of type, all monsters attack people. So we have to fight them then. I mean, it all just seems a bit sad. Still, keep your guard up. Always. We've only gone up a few floors. The only changes we've seen so far is there's more of them and they've gotten faster. It may come as a surprise to the rest of you, but I've defeated orcs and goblins before. Um... <laughs> the type of slimes on this floor can spit out a sticky fluid. It's not lethal by itself, but it can lead to accidents that may prove fatal. Which is why I said... Never let your guard down. <clears throat> Don't forget. Your safety's your responsibility, no one else's. Luckily, it didn't hurt anything, other than my sense of pride. All right, slime. I'm going to make you pay for that! Hold on! Icicle dance! <gasps> We've reached the top. Everything you encounter here is a potential lesson, so keep your focus until the very end. Maybe you've noticed, but that one's slightly bigger than the other. 
Brothers, the boss of the Sticky Aqueducts, the largest slime here. So before we judge, uh, uh, Tiana? Leave this to me! I can deal with him myself! Well, I guess it's okay. Ice Spear! <laughs> a particular size, they react to powerful magic by spewing slime. If you'd told me before, I would have handled things differently. And if you told me what kind of magic you were using, I could have given you some advice. <sighs> hey, Zem. Yes? You belong at the rear of the party, not at the front. I just feel guilty being farthest from the action. Combat's not your responsibility. <sighs> tell me, did you think it would be faster defeating it yourself instead of relying on your fellow party members? That's right. <sighs> that reminds me. <sighs> Here is every weapon I own. My strengths are unarmed combat and daggers, as well as scouting. I'm also pretty good at managing items and bookkeeping. I don't know a damn thing about magic. And I can't use heavy weapons, or perform alchemy or healing spells. Is this your way of revealing your secrets? The problem with trusting people around you is you have no idea what they're capable of. I think if we understood each other better, it would improve our team dynamic. That's fair, but we'd also be revealing our weaknesses. <laughs> Listen, we have our reasons for being wary. That's assuming we believe each other's stories, yeah? But we all have something in common, that somebody recognized our talents and exploited them. Maybe it was out of jealousy, or for their own personal gain. Regardless, that's why we're disillusioned. It makes us reluctant to reveal our true skills. All right. No one here has to say a word. <gasps> However, if at some point down the road any of you want to talk, you're more than welcome to. But for now... There's one thing I want you to decide. What you want from this party. What if we don't really know? <laughs> It'd be easy to defeat me if you wanted to. Swords, fists, magic, I'm weak to almost any attack. Fair warning, I wouldn't suggest taking too much time when you do it, though. Because healing small wounds with magic is kind of my strong suit. You think we're out to kill you, is that it? <laughs> my apologies. Shame. I was trying to burn you to a crisp, but my aim was off. Well, then, next time, try not to miss. <laughs> How can I trust you in a fight if you can't hit your target? 
leave it to me. Right. Last up is the Goblin Forest. Any guesses why it's called that? On their own, goblins are weak. That's why they fight in packs. So make sure you don't get surrounded. You good? Compared to the slimes we defeated earlier, these humanoid monsters are a challenge. They've got a degree of intelligence, which lets them organize and attack in formation. Nick's so strong. Guess I didn't realize until now. Talking to yourself? That'll cost you, you know. Thank you. That ought to be most of them. I'll check the surrounding area. <laughs> Detect magic, grant me sight! There are about ten more in the northeast, 500 meters from here. Seems like they're spread out, but the closest one's there. Huh? What makes you so sure? That spell I just used, it finds traces of magic within a three-kilometer radius. What an amazing ability. Take it from me, there aren't many people able to detect magic across an area that wide. Can't trust Nick. I don't need a spell to tell me that. Huh? Got that right. What did I do? Earlier, when you listed your strengths, you undersold your combat skills. Seems we found your true weakness. Your ability to evaluate yourself. Yeah! You took the lead and barely left me any goblins to slay on my own! Like an idiot, I told you I was weak to physical attacks. Look, I wasn't trying to deceive you, I just... What the hell? Something wrong? Up ahead, one of them has way too much magic to be a goblin. Five times as much. In other words, trouble. You have any idea what it might be? If I had to guess, an ogre. An evolved version of a hobgoblin, and vastly more powerful. Difficult even for someone like you? Fighting it as a party's risky, if we're not careful. Well, let's just say I wish we had more experience working as a team. What's the plan? Should we retreat then? That's not an option. If we don't stop it now, that pack is going to absorb others around it and continue to expand. They'll eventually start attacking the people who live nearby. But more importantly, hmm? it pays a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, he isn't wrong. When it comes to ogres, they have a high resistance to magic, right? I don't think I can do much except distract it. Kern and I will take care of the fighting while you two stay back. <laughs> Here's how we'll handle this. Tiana will distract it. Zem buffers with his magic, while Curran and I attack. Take my word. Ogre's skin is extremely difficult to break through, so... We'll be relying on your strength, Curran. <laughs> No sweat. All right. Then let's go. Tiana. Hmm? Just so you know, I still don't completely trust you. I'd like to, but I don't know if I ever can. <laughs> Fair enough. <gasps> Same goes for me. No. Now that I think of it, we all feel that way. It's what brought us together, that doubt, whether we can trust again. Deep down, I know. We all want to. I'll cover you. When you attack, keep your back to me. Do that and you'll be safe. All right. I can do that much at least! Back her up! Unyielding fortress! Iron strength!
with you. No problem at all. Turning my back on you was easy as eating hot bunyaki. Think so? I'm sure I'll get more chances to aim at you. Uh, wait a sec. Are you serious? Guess you'll have to wait and find out. Is it me? Or do they not like each other? <laughs> Who can say? Wanna lend me a hand? Uh, low one! Don't interfere when it comes to people's private hobbies! It's not like this is my passion or something! We have to collect the horns if we want to get paid. <sighs> it's tough being an adventurer. You get used to it pretty quick. Mm -hmm. You don't have to learn anything, Curran. The last time, they didn't teach me anything. Uh, phew! This one was in the process of evolving. We nearly had another ogre on our hands. Well, come off! Damn it! Sorry, you okay? What was that? are proud, born with destiny. To serve the human who will one day become a hero and save the world. <gasps> Don't be afraid to take a closer look, miss. Mm. What's this one go for? 20,000. Uh, that much? Sorry, but all prices are firm. such delicate wares. Now that it's scratched, there's no way I can sell it. But that wasn't me. I promise you. There's nothing wrong with being clumsy now and then, but I won't tolerate lying. I'm not. I swear. I don't know what backwoods village you crawled out of, but here in Labyrinth City, we take these things seriously. Mm. I'm not some kind of monster. I know it was an accident. Uh. Buy it for half price and I'll let it slide. Or perhaps you'd rather we take this matter up with the Solar Knights. How many times have I told you to let me know before you go out shopping, Curran? Kalios! Sir, this Dragonian girl damaged a one-of-a-kind pendant valued at 20,000 Dina. Ooh! How am I supposed to sell it now? I didn't mean to. Go ahead and try to scratch it. Huh? You want her to damage it even more? You just said you couldn't sell it anyway. So what difference would that make? Fine then, but only if I get my 10,000 Dina beforehand. Sure, I'll pay. Wouldn't want to break the Ooh. law. Ooh. Go on and give it a try. Is that the smallest scratch you can make? Yeah, it's these nails. <gasps> and there we go. <gasps> if you think you can voice damaged goods on her, guess again. As if this has got anything to do with you! Since I'm the one who paid, it does. What do you think you're doing? <sighs> it's an old con merchant's use. <sighs> he swapped this out for the damaged pendant, then tried pressuring you into buying it. Sickening. Do you still want to take this up with the Solar Knights? There's no need, good sir. Well, you still want the pendant, Curran? Yeah, I do. I'll take this in exchange for not turning you in. <gasps> this and the gold coin I just paid you with. Damn it. Mm -hmm. All yours. 
hours. <sighs> Thank you. Dragonians are a proud race with a destiny. We're meant to serve the human who will become the hero, the savior of this world. I believed that he was the one and worshipped him, gave him everything I had. I felt our lives would be forever intertwined. Every day I spent with him was an adventure. You ready to head out? Huh? What are you packing all that gear for? You need to travel light to defeat today's foe. Sure, but still... <laughs> I dare you to name one person brave enough to steal from you, or crazy enough for that matter. Besides, we'll be coming back here afterwards. Leave it. You're right. It'll be safe here. It was ten years after the war. The world was at peace, and I was lucky enough to find someone I could serve to keep it that way. Fire Dragon Strike! Amazing! Simply incredible! You're even stronger than S-Rank! <laughs> well done, Corin. Really. <laughs> You're sure? You don't need my help? It's starting to sound to me like she wants to handle every job, doesn't it? You got that right! <laughs> <laughs> I respect how motivated you are, believe me. At the same time, an adventurer has to trust the rest of their party. I know, but we are still a team. Yes, and each one of us has our own strengths. We should stick to whatever it is we're best at. I can count on you, can't I? <laughs> yeah! We'll always have each other's back! <laughs> we're almost to the pot snake, so I'll explain what we're up against. It's extremely cautious. When it's concealed inside the urn, magic won't be effective. <sighs> Disturbing the exterior will coax out the beast. That's where Curran will come in. Keep it occupied when it emerges. You land the killing blow while we provide support. We've got you covered, partner. Is that all? Leave it to me, Kalios! Jewel. I need it back. I use the 
finest materials and spent a year empowering it with magic. It will stay with you all your life, by your side, growing along with you, my daughter. It was mine to protect. I will reclaim it. be enough I hope if you'll excuse me <laughs> welcome in I would like one port ginger plate please sure thing hold on isn't that him yeah without a doubt it's fifths the solo eater why is he called that? Your order? Ginger plate, please. Hear that, chef? This shirt is popular today. From that day on, every time I stopped by the restaurant, I would always hear people talking about him. Apparently, he was so strong, the guild let him explore labyrinths on his own. The party name he registered under suited him perfectly. The Solo Eater. A lone wolf when it came to adventuring and eating. say you can judge a place by their lamb skewers, and this restaurant has the very best. Now that I think about it, I highly recommend trying the stewed beef and beets as well. Bottom of the menu, second from the last. put off getting a new cloak long enough. Wouldn't be right visiting a fancy restaurant wearing the one I've got on now. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I always forget they hide the bathrooms over here. <laughs> that sword's my life. <laughs> I'm grateful. I should have been more careful. No, wait! I should be thanking you! The food's good enough to put up with the clientele. Might I suggest the shrimp and mushrooms and olive oil? I'll order that myself the next time I'm here. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so grateful to you, Fifths. Because you taught me the importance of taking care of myself with good food. The last time I saw him, he was walking out that door. From what I've heard, he's somewhere out there still, exploring the labyrinths. Getting betrayed and having my possessions stolen by Kalios opened a hole in my heart. A void that only food could fill. It's like my enemy, and I savor each encounter. But good food doesn't come cheap, and I needed a way to make some money. It's this one. No, it looked more like... <sighs> Thanks, but it was smaller than the ones you carry. That's my fault. And you didn't even get mad at me. Which, in a way, is even more unnerving. Huh? If it isn't the stray! What the hell did you call me? Oh. Well, you've cleaned up since last time, so I shouldn't call you that. Uh, 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 <laughs> If you ask me, it sounds like it wasn't a big deal to her. Or maybe she's furious and has just gotten really good at hiding it from others. How can you or anyone else know how she feels if she won't tell you? Well, you have a point, but... If you still feel the need to apologize, then why don't you ask her where they sell the pendant? You're acting like it's not your problem. It's not. Yeah, that is true. You're being selfish. <laughs> you don't even know what your friend thinks. But you're still gonna make yourself feel better by getting her a gift? Sounds pretty self-centered, if you ask me. Mm. Then again, is there anything wrong with that? I think of myself. The reason I talked to you that day was probably more about me. If you can't move on until the issue's put to rest, there's one choice. Go right ahead, and just be selfish. That's certainly one way to approach the situation. If you ask me, your gift should be giving her your time. Uh, my time? There's a thought. Ah. Looks pretty good. Mm. Of course it is. This is haponyaki. They're little balls of fried flour with chopped up eight legs stuffed inside. Try one.
time you'll have to buy me a drink, sweet thing. Hey, Doc! That medicine did the trick! Hey, Curran, over here! You gonna have a drink with us or what? Sure! If you're getting the first round! Sure is lively tonight. Uh... How about it? Do you want to go on a quest? I'd do anything for you if you agreed to be my girlfriend! Huh? It's busier than usual. Well, this isn't deja vu. <laughs> it's strange. When I stepped inside this tavern, I was at my lowest. I had no idea I'd end up feeling so much at peace. This place is so lively. It was probably like this the night we met. Would you mind if we had a little talk? You, you want us to search the labyrinth of bonds? What's that? Once you arrive, there's something I want you to find for me. Well, don't keep us waiting in suspense. A sacred blade called the Sword of Bonds. <sighs> Although they didn't know it at the time, their decision whether or not to take this job would change the course of their lives forever. Go retrieve the Sword of Bonds for me, and I will pay you a hefty price. And if we can't find it? I'll offer 30,000 Dina per excursion. <sighs> that much for a beginner-level labyrinth? Quite a generous amount. Let's say that we do manage to find this Sword of Bonds. Only for you to claim it's damaged, or refuse to pay because we got the wrong one. We're not going in there blind. <sighs> you four certainly are suspicious. We'll need a map and a list of monsters in the area. In addition, tell us everywhere a search has already taken place, details about the sword, and provide us with a guaranteed price, regardless of its condition. Of course, this has to be in writing. Hmm. <gasps> so we're looking for a sword that amplifies a party's power based on the bonds between them. Kind of ironic when you think about it. Well, I think it's the perfect quest for us. It does feel like we're trusting each other more every day. Yeah, glad to hear we have each other's backs. <laughs> <laughs> was like this place feels artificial down to the monsters populating it there might be secret passages let's keep an eye out yeah nice thinking well what do we have here new adventurers i wonder if they have what it takes to reach me apparently we go straight for a bit Roger. Look down there. Huh? See it? It's a lamp at a dead end, just like our information said. But didn't the document say it was supposed to be read? Mm. You're right. Hold on! Our mission is to explore the labyrinth. We ought to be thorough then, right? Also, you smell money, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but something's off about this. Nick! Careful! It's not marked on the map! Well done, but here's where the real challenge begins.
Are we supposed to look inside all of these boxes? No. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh, it's that one. You sure? Trust me. Real quick. <laughs> Detect magic. Nothing within a one kilometer radius. That could mean two things. Either we're safe, or someone's trying to stop me from doing a thorough search. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, if it is someone, we'll have to be sure to report it. Up ahead. Is that it? Well done, adventurers! <clears throat> Who's there? You've overcome great trials to make it this far. Truly, you are worthy of possessing my power. Now, is this what's taking your reward? We Whether found the sword of bonds. Man, beast, angel, I'm or not devil, entirely sure. I will defeat any Where's the blade supposed to be? Lead you to glory. Maybe it's busted. Are you even listening to me? You think it's magic? Or what? Not sure. Isn't much of a weapon without a blade, though. Yeah, it's broken. Some of them require a wielder who's able to cast before they can be used. I guess that's how this one works. Like I said, it's broken. I am not defective. Who do you think you're talking to? Okay, look. We're kind of in a rush here looking for the Sword of Bonds. So unless you happen to know where it is... You're searching for the legendary Sword of Bonds? Well, congratulations, because you found me. I happen to be a masterpiece, the finest weapon in the Tyrannic... The heck you are. I am too. We're not interested in talking a busted sword. We don't know for sure it's busted. I've already told you I'm not. Hold on, guys. I think we ought to listen to what the nice old man has to tell don't us. Don't call me an old man. Get a haircut. I was trying to help you, and this is the thanks I get? Yeah, take it easy. <sighs> Apologies. <sighs> we're still trying to get over the fact that we're conversing with a weapon. Not just any weapon, but a secret blade that will assist only those who value justice and friendship. As I've already stated, I am the Tirane Magic Armory's finest masterpiece. The Angel-class psychic weapon. Product name, the Sword of Bonds. Product name? That was also the project name. Yeah, very cool. We'll chat more later. For now, though, we need to get you all backed up. You're not going to equip me? I only use short swords. All right, then how about the Dragonian girl? No way I'm switching out my Dragonbone sword. Was I not the reason you came all this way? Yeah, I told you that much before. Then how come there's not more fanfare? Wait a second. What do you intend to do with me? You still haven't guessed? We're still selling you. you. Uh, are you insane? The contract says we only get half if you're wrecked. Don't pawn me! I wasn't meant to gather dust in some warehouse. Do you have any idea how many years I've wasted after being deceived by those liars at the guild? Wait, back up. How exactly were you deceived? The guild sealed me here, claiming someone worthy would find me, that it was in my best interest. I waited and waited and nobody came, and do you know why? Because despite all their promises, those backstabbers had no intention of ever letting me be discovered. Look, we're sympathetic, but we've got bills to pay. Listen, if you sell me, you'll make enough money to last ten lifetimes. But if we travel together, I can provide you with unparalleled power. Enough money for ten lifetimes means we wouldn't have to adventure anymore, so your argument kind of falls flat. <sighs> I'm afraid I must apologize in advance. It would appear the Guardian system has been activated. Sorry, I don't speak ancient. Translate. In other words, my protector has awakened and now you must fight it. <laughs> Until you've defeated the Amalgam Golem, you won't be able to leave this hall. Amalgam Golem? What is that? Wait! Don't 
right! Curran, run! Curran! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Got to be careful, otherwise this will be the end of the survivors. We're not dying in a beginner labyrinth! It was too painful to face what had happened. 
So I held on to hope that one day I would wake up, find Kalios waiting, and we'd go adventuring like we used to. Having that pendant, it kept my dream alive. Even... even if I knew it was a lie. As hard as I tried, I couldn't forget about all the good times we had. I spent more time with memories instead of with the people around me. It was... It was too much fun! <laughs> so when the pendant broke that day, it wasn't a bad thing. Just the opposite. I finally saw the light. Kurt. Thanks to you, I was freed. <clears throat> So, it's an Aura Blade weapon, as we were informed. Huh. I'm impressed that it looks so much like the real thing. Um, that's right. Like she said, the real thing is super impressive, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's as impressive as the real thing. I'm still waiting to be impressed. Now, now, you two. If you're not careful, you'll make her think we're trying to pull some kind of scam on her. Such a lovely, sacred blade. It's a shame we have to part with it. You aren't missing anything. Well, the blade's not as powerful as we'd hoped. Then again, it's old. Ha! It's nowhere near as strong as me. Hmm? <sighs> Very well. For our contract, you'll still get paid. I'm glad to hear that. It would suck if we were lied to. So? Hmm? Is the young lady or man that's been standing here the whole time a new member of the survivors? Hmm? The name's Kizuna. Odd. Kizuna means bonds, the same as the sword's title. Well, good luck, I guess. With me around, they won't need luck. Good thing there was that stock of mass-produced copies. Ha <laughs> ha! Those saps of the guild were easier to fool than I thought. Back at the labyrinth, didn't you say something about the value of justice and friendship? I seem to remember saving each other's lives. I dare you to name a better example. Strange thing for a sword to say. I can be a sword and a person. By the way, it's called parallelization function. A sacred blade able to take on human form. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the mechanics. I'm glad it worked out. I was worried it might be the last straw when you said your name. Why is that? Because people will figure it out. Well, it's not like I can help that. Sentient magic items have a lot of their power tied to their names. Is that a fact? For instance, if we decided to name you Mop, we might not have to clean our rooms anymore. There's an idea. 
Here's our money for a job well done. <gasps> Guys! We finally earned enough to spend on our hobbies! Up until now, everything's gone to paying the rent and bills. Oh, I've longed for decent food! Huh? We've got places to be. You mean like the local tavern? Our tastes are a bit more eclectic than that. Huh? What is rule one of being a survivor? No, no interfering, interfering with, with people's, people's hobbies. hobbies. What? How come? We've all got something worth protecting. Like some forbidden holy ground, where no one else can tread. Sure. I mean, I don't totally understand, but nonetheless, it sounds important. The short version is we're going to take some downtime. Meaning you're off too. I'm going to an idol concert. You can tag along, but you've got to be in blade mode. What? How boring! I'd rather stay here and read a book or something. <laughs> I thought you had places to be. There's still time before the race starts. You want to come with me? <gasps> really? Mm, but according to the rules, isn't that forbidden ground? You're invited. But however I spend my money, you're not allowed to comment. Uh, uh, yeah? Does that mean I'm a member of the survivors then? <laughs> Put together. Why so little? You gonna buy a snack? 
This is all the survivors have to our name. <gasps> Wait, you can't possibly be saying what I think you are. We may have done a little overspending. You can only buy a snack with that! Let's get to it. We need to make some more money! Yeah! So, Tiana... Hmm? As of today, you are no longer a student at this establishment. Right. But that doesn't mean that you will stop being a mage. <sighs> oh. I'd like for you to have this. An igniter? What for? It's a farewell present. <sighs> you said you wanted it. Thank you so much for this. I wasn't the only one hurt by the scandal. He lost his job because of me. This man I admired so much. <laughs> he worked hard to earn his title of sage. And because of me, it was gone. In spite of that, he spoke like none of it bothered him. Because nobody needs us, we are free. I'll remember those words for the rest of my life. Freedom has its restrictions, don't you think? Uh? Oh, it's nothing really. <sighs> I was merely contemplating the somewhat contradictory nature of freedom. Or of humans, at any rate. We want the luxuries that freedom affords, but we don't want to give up the feeling that someone still needs us. It makes you wonder. Perhaps humanity doesn't deserve to keep on existing. I'm just joking. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Even after all of this, we can still find something to laugh about. Maybe that's a sign. A sign that the worst is yet to come. Uh, if I may be honest, I've never been good at telling when you're joking and when you're serious, Master. Did you not find any of it funny? Not funny so much as... Mm -hmm. Inappropriate. Oh. <laughs> it's inappropriate, huh? <laughs> well, I suppose I have nothing to argue with you about there. Yes, you may be correct. <laughs> Master, um, I feel a little confused. Why does it seem as though you're enjoying this? <laughs> Master, please stop laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whenever there's a silence, I can't help myself. <laughs> Whatever's on my mind just slips out. <laughs> well then, I guess it's time for me to be on my way. Uh, I guess you're right. <laughs> Seeing him like that... I wondered if I could help him. Was I overstepping? Maybe. It was rude, even impudent to think. This was my fault. I'm sorry. Is this goodbye, then? Oh, of course it is. Uh? Before that, I have one last lesson for you. If you know who it is you are underneath everything, if you know what it is you are good at and what it is you are capable of doing, that's a treasure that no one can ever take away from you. Keep that in mind going forward. <laughs> that's not a joke too, is it? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't tell either. <laughs> I wonder if other people think, maybe I'll wake up tomorrow, and suddenly, right before my eyes, everything will return to how it was before all of this. <sighs> it's too bad that it'll never be the truth. Maybe I'll wake up surrounded by fluffy blankets, 
With comfy pillows on every side, still in my mansion. I'll spend the day by Alex's side and learn wonderful things. Or I'll see if I can help out my master. I was so happy back in those days. I felt I was blessed, just a girl lost in dreams. I bet they've experienced the same thoughts once or twice at least. Maybe if I could go back, everything would be all right. And so, we dream of a wish that not even magic can grant, no matter how powerful. We fall asleep each night, we dream our pointless dreams, and then we wake. Happy birthday! Aw, that's so nice! You remembered what I said! This is exactly what I wanted! Then you honestly like it? I'm glad. But wait! Hmm? I want more! I need to see more! <laughs> First there was the Black Great Rock Worm! And then the Happy Ding Food! Yes! I want to see it all! <laughs> Are you okay? Everything that has changed since I was sealed away! And everything that hasn't! I'll be sure to see it all! Nobody's oh, gonna come on, stop to get me! <sighs> Was that because of his telepathy? Hey, keep your sleep talk out of my brain. I want to see it all. I need to know it all. <sighs> Am I the only one? Am I the only one? The only one. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning you too. I never want to go back. My time with you now is the best of my life. That childlike wonder. No way. I can't look at him, Nick. I wish I felt like that. Yep. That's a Resetsu Ogre. Didn't we already beat this one? No, it isn't actually the same one as we fought before. They're reborn each time the miasma gets thick. I feel sorry for them, honestly. It's fun how we can all chat together like this. Telepathy's a tool, not a way for you to goof off during adventures. I've never even used a communications gym, so this feels a little weird. <laughs> I can still hear you guys from this far away! Hey! Don't rush ahead like... Uh, my true power isn't telepathy. I'm good with a sword, too. Behold my power! Oh, come on. What's the point of a telepathy? Oh, did you think brute force alone would be enough to stop my sheer power? concerned about what you just said but honestly i'm amazed your parallel skill and swordsmanship are genuinely impressive my skills with a sword were installed during my developmental stage uh. what do you mean by installed in essence i absorbed the techniques from someone who used me a long time ago wait doesn't that seem like cheating don't call it cheating that's really rude of you call it whatever i'm just glad you're with us and don't forget my most powerful technique I'm probably not using Union for a while. Huh? Why wouldn't you? We can't use something that makes us collapse from exhaustion afterward. You shouldn't be so stingy. I'm glad that we have our trump card for when we need it. I agree. We're counting on you. I want to get some food! I could go for a bite. What about you two? I want to get some food! Oh, I think I'll check on the dragons next. I'll pass too. I'm gonna check on the ladies. Okay, why did I tell you all about not using my telepathy for casual conversation? 
So you decided to tag along. <gasps> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Yeah, it, cut it out with the mental attacks! I'm gonna have fun no matter what I'm doing, because I'm entering my fun phase! Would getting punched in the face feel like fun? <laughs> Anything could be in the right situation. <laughs> and what are you two talking about? Oh, that smells good! Hold on. Yes! I want to see it all! It really stimulates the appetite. Wait! One second! Uh, oh, well... Mmm, it even tastes as good as it smells. If you're not careful mm. with how you prepare the fish, it gets all dry and tasteless. But they made it perfectly and topped it off with a delicious sauce. They seem like they know what they're doing at this place. You've got high expectations. I am a foodie after all. No kidding. You eat all our food budget. <laughs> Nick, don't forget survivor's rule number one. <sighs> yeah, my bad. <sighs> That's so nice. You remembered what I said. No way. It's Claudine. Aww, this is exactly what I wanted. Then you honestly like it? I'm glad. Then you honestly like it? I'm glad. But unfortunately, I have to go back to my hometown. Huh? My mother's unwell. And she's almost out of time. That's awful. <laughs> How will I ever manage to get there? It's at least a month away by carriage. <laughs> Why do I have to bear such a great burden? If only I had money for the trip. I need money so badly. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Claudine. Listen, I'll take care of all the travel expenses. I... <laughs> Hi, Nick. Do you know this guy, Claudine? That's terrible. Your mother must have moved pretty far from where you told me then. I could have sworn you said she lived three days to the east. <laughs> well, three days is still a hard trip, you know. And happy birthday to you. You're the first person I've met who has two birthdays in the same year. So, Claudine, who is he? Uh, I don't remember inviting you to sit with us. Uh, just leave! If you try to get away with selling that, it's an easy fraud charge. That's an expensive luxury item already appraised. <laughs> Let's go! Since this weirdo thing... Oh, Are you gonna live the rest of your life with a bounty on your head? I'm sure your mother would be sad. <laughs> Whoops. Well, any damages, you'll be held liable. <laughs> Here, kid. This is yours. So, uh, was everything she said a lie? Hey, Nick! Your meal's gone totally cold over here. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll take another alley cat pudding parfait with extra caramel! Most of the time when dealing with gathering quests, you need to find plants that only bloom in the labyrinths. Herbs, poisons... Zem knows more about these things than me. If you're talking cave labyrinths, they'll ask you for ores and jewels. For cases like that, mountain dwarves are better equipped than we are. <laughs> Back from seeing your mom, Claudine? She asked me to give you that gift, and she sends her best. Glad to hear she's on the mend. A full recovery, as a matter of fact. Tough lady. She would be a great new addition to the survivors. You could have treated our Claudine here a little nicer when you saw her yesterday. Our Claudine? Oh, I was only telling her not to do anything that would upset her dear mother. <gasps> so, the Iron Kitties want me- Tigers! Name's Leon. Please forgive me. I'm so bad with other people's names. So what were you gonna do with that money? Use it to run away from the Iron Tigers? What's that? Please! Give me a break! He's just throwing a fit because I dumped him! A girl doesn't like you, so you go and turn her into some kind of villain! And you villains seem to get along well. Right, asshole! Let's take this outside! You okay? The kitty's telling me he needs some time in the sun. How about here, then? Sure. Good sunlight. 
purposes without studying, then there's a real chance. The score? I'll let the poor guy off the hook, would ya? Uh, it's really awful? Um, I don't think I'd say that. This might be impossible, you guys. Hold on. The thing that's important right now is that we saw what you can do and what it is you haven't quite learned how to do just yet. Uh. With that, we'll improve what you know. And the things that you don't will help you learn together. Will that really work? I promise. <laughs> Why don't you all relax and let me handle this? Sorry, but you would just draw too much attention with your strength. Okay. I want to help the survivors in some way, though. I understand. I'm positive that we'll need your help. Huh? So? Not as a weapon, but as a valued member of our party. <gasps> All right, whatever you need, just say the word! Over the following week, we spent our time training and coming up with ideas. Oh. Zem's been hanging out with the ladies every night. Oh, Sim, you naughty boy. Oh, no! <laughs> Let's stop wasting our time and get straight to the point. Was I that obvious? It's no fun drinking with someone who's so gloomy. You've been down for too long. Well then, if that's the case... I've heard a lot of stories about that Claudine girl breaking men's hearts. Oh, Beg? Yuck, he's a total creeper. Leon's considerably smarter than anyone would expect, given how tough he looks. The Iron Tigers have gone too far. Oh, yeah. I remember that new girl Rose saying she saw a strange man the other day. Uh, I heard you know something about a strange man. That's right. I'd love to hear any information you can give me. <clears throat> sure thing. Where should I begin? Wavy flaxen hair. Eyes as deep as the endless ocean. Long, slender hands with soft fingers. A sexy, velvety voice. He wears a cassock, even in a place like this. Who's this man you're talking about? No one, apparently. It's time. Make sure you're prepared for any tricks tomorrow. Mm. Given the way they acted, luring us into this competition, I'm sure they've done this sort of thing before. That's why I told you to ask other people about them. So he wasn't going out to get drunk every night? I did drink more than my fair share, but I asked questions as well. Ah. I've seen him play, and he's definitely cheating. But the matter of how is simply beyond me. They act like they have eyes growing out of the back of their heads. I can't figure out how they do it. They're sharing information so that they can outmaneuver their opponents at every turn. They're probably using thought gems, then. That'd explain it. Those work a lot like telepathy, right? Yeah, but not even close to as strong. What do you think I should do about that? Use everything you've learned to solve the problem sets. That should cover us. You won't need anything else? Not until I give you the signal. Huh? When I was a kid, I was always happy enough. My parents worked at a carriage station, but got caught embezzling money and were promptly fired. They realized their best option was to sell me, but I ran away before they could, which meant I needed to find a new way to survive. I was just pretty enough, so I tricked just enough people to live. I was just smart enough to do just as many cons as I needed. I met just enough guys to earn just enough to get by. And then, that's when I met Nick. Happy birthday, Claudine. The more people I stole from, the more joy I'd be able to find in my own life. Or so I thought. I'll get you for this, Nick.
Kern has a chance to use their doubt to her advantage. They believe that she's incapable of solving the most basic equations. They're not gonna miss their shot to jump on that. <laughs> she's not falling for my bait. In that case... <laughs> not even attacking. So he's biding his time. Just like we expected. <laughs> it looks like he's realized something. But he can't have figured everything out. You need to be smarter than they are to piece it together. You need to focus now, Curran. Speed is one thing, but it won't help if you don't get the answer right. I'm done with my problem! <gasps> the first to finish is... Curran! We will now review their answers. Brawlers may take a moment to relax. Curran, 86 points. Claudine, 98 points. <sighs> There's the danger in answering the questions too quickly. You get in such a rush that you wind up losing points, and the advantage you earned is nullified. Oh my, you're not as bad as I thought. Let's see if you can keep it up in round two. I'm sorry, Nick! Don't sweat it. No point in getting worked up over a baby scratch from a kitten. Penalty time already? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Here, kitty kitty. Ah! That can't be all you've got. I think you have more planned. Huh? Forget I said anything. A lot of skill goes into brawling and doing math at the same time. Some would say the math is there to preserve stamina. But there's more to it. If you think of it like Curran did, ending the math fast could help more in the long run. Even if it feels like it's of secondary importance, a true warrior can use it as aggressively as any fighting style. Let round two begin now. It seems dishonorable, but if you want to win, abusing penalties is crucial. Nothing's as strong as a hit you're not allowed to block. If you've got confidence your math player knows what they're doing, it's the perfect opportunity to go on the offensive. Theoretically, if you answered every question instantly, it wouldn't matter how smart your opponent is, because without time to answer the questions, they would have to take constant penalty hits. The brawlers aren't the ones who determine the outcome of the game. Which is why Leon's strategy is about stalling. And it's in that downtime that they're gonna try to cheat. But this time, the survivors have some tricks of our own! Claudine with 98 points! Curran with 79 points! <laughs> what a bummer. <laughs> One more point and I would have scored him two hits. <laughs> <laughs> Karen! <laughs> Come on, I'm the one taking the beating. Why do you look like you're in pain? No, it's not that I'm hurt, but you're... I can't! Worry about your own problems before me. I can't! It's my fault that you keep getting beat up! All because I'm stupid! I'll be honest. <laughs> A week ago, I didn't expect it to go nearly this well. I had prepared myself to take dozens of hits. But look how it's going. How many times have I gotten hit so far? Well, only two. Yeah. Last week you got 80% of the questions wrong, and now you're a full-fledged mathematics bare-knuckle player. I can tell you're giving this competition everything you've got. So don't you dare call yourself stupid. But there's more. I might mess up the next questions even worse. That's fine. Mm -mm. I can take it. As long as you learn from each mistake mean it? I do. You're incredible. <laughs> I simply can't believe you're getting this excited over a little arithmetic. <sighs> I know how to do something now that I didn't know before. Of course I'm excited. <laughs> I'm willing to pretend like I didn't hear all of that. Waste any more time and it's a foul. Let round three begin now. There's no way that a Dragonian bumpkin like you will be able to keep up with me for long. I was actually feeling great about how much I've improved at math, but I was so worried about Nick that I couldn't think of anything else. Seeing how happy he was for me took all that away. So now, I won't back down. When it comes to running cons, the faster you do it, the better. The majority of people would prefer it all done right away. 
to limit both time spent and margin for error. There's a good reason why they chose to wait, though. At the start, you'd lose too much time repeating the questions and answers back and forth, which means... They've been buying time and letting the difficulty of the problems increase. Eventually, when Curran isn't able to breeze through the questions, they'll use their thought gems to give Claudine the boost she needs. I feel myself running out of steam. If I want to use my speed to go aggressive on him, I've got to do it now. <laughs> the crowd can cheer if they wanna. This is all part of our secret plan. I'll draw this out for as long as my strength holds. How odd. I'm not able to detect even the slightest trace of magic use. Are we mistaken about their plan? That couldn't be. Unless there's more to it. The math will go past what we studied with Curran soon. The next round may not look too good. <sighs> Looks like I'll be needing to make some more smoke. <laughs> ready to die of boredom. What do you say to doing the rest of the rounds now? Our leader's tough enough to deal with it. Oh, hell yeah! Let's go with her idea! I presume you understand asking for that means he'll need to take all of his penalty punches back to back. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. I was ready to suggest it if nobody else did. No way! What kind of genius is that woman? Sure, he's fairly strong, but only by human standards. Looking at how badly beaten up he is, does she honestly think he'll survive a round of me wailing on him non-stop? That's a coma if he's lucky, and a grave if he isn't. <clears throat> Are they trying to stop our plan? Well, well, we're too far along. Keep squirming if you can. It only makes it juicier for us. I'll find you. You can't hide, Alley Cat. Mathematicians, begin. Come on out, Alley Cat. I solved the earlier ones by myself, but I refuse to leave the rest of this up to chance. She's bluffing. I've seen what she's capable of, and I doubt I have anything to worry about. She wants to put the heat on me by writing quick, incorrect answers. I can handle this. I'll go faster and crush her. Beg, you're up. Finally, it's my turn. We don't have any time to lose. First, 78 plus 594 over 3. We've used these thought gems a lot, and we've made some pretty good money in the process. But the risk is too high. This will be the last time. And then I'll leave the Iron Tigers for good. And hey, maybe after that I can live a quiet, normal life. You ready to write? Go ahead. The first answer is 276. For the second, 368. After that, <laughs> hold up a sec. I just realized you seem to be down a member. Is he okay? <laughs> He's a flake when it comes to things like this. Uh, wasn't that girl making a big fuss over changing the rules earlier? Where did she run off to? Did they figure more of it out? No, they couldn't have. Or even if they did, it won't matter. They can't possibly know where they need to go. So why is my stomach sinking? Don't tell me. The whole thing's a trap? Wait, Claudine! Shut up! I can't listen to you! What's this about? Uh, uh, come on, Claudine. You're good enough. You don't need help to beat that Dragonian. Start over from the second problem. No, I mean the one after 32.6. Damn it! Go back however far you need to, then. I thought for sure. 
sure he was down for the count when I dumped him. But now he's back as an adventurer. What's his deal? Doesn't he know what's going to happen? This time I'm seriously going to hurt him! Okay. I'm starting over with the problem immediately after 32.6. Hold on. This isn't oh, right. Oh, jeez! This hurts to watch! Claudine obviously wants you to say this one! Oh, of course. Thanks a million. Uh, what? <laughs> Wanna know where you made your mistake, punk? You let Vilma hear your challenge. <laughs> the guild has their own stakes in this battle. <clears throat> and they're gonna see what you've been hiding. <laughs> I think that the article is full of it. You really can't believe everything you read. Come on, you're no fun at all. I suppose Nick is more of a realist than I thought. Hey, quick question. If my answers at the end didn't matter, was there any reason I needed to study so hard? You're forgetting something. We only won in the end because of your strong start. You did really great, Curran. You should be proud of yourself. Oh. I appreciate it. And I'm certain that it'll come in handy. You can use it in your day-to-day -day life, too. Yeah? You think so? <laughs> it can help you to tell who's got the best deal on the extra-large portions at restaurants. Whoa! That is handy! <laughs> <laughs> Once there was an adventurer party called the Silver Tigers. Their leader, Bishot, was a man of rare intelligence for a Tigarian. He was also my older brother. The Megasteel Moonhell. It's as if the Labyrinth was a living, breathing creature, seeking out blood and lives, stealing both without remorse. But we refused to let the maze win. We found and defeated them and stole everything they had. An otherwise impossible task if it hadn't been for his genius. 
He attained wealth and fame beyond imagination, and died as one would expect. Small, miserable, without ceremony, stripped of his intelligence and dignity, I reached one conclusion. There's no reason to believe in humanity. Start talking. There's not a trace of the riches your lot stole. They never turned up on the black market either. Fortunately, I've been keeping a secret. You have it with you, don't you? Our party. We stole something from the labyrinth. You're clever for a knight. Now, where are you hiding it? If you hadn't figured it out, you would have lived to have a drink at the tavern tomorrow. Huh? A treasure far too dangerous to sell, and even more dangerous to use. Come forth, sword of destruction! Huh? People say life's a gamble. That's true for everyone, even Tigarians like myself. And tonight, I'm betting it all. The rich girl. What are you waiting for? Hurry I'm calling him, him, Mr. Gigolo. Whatever you say, sir. Then there's the dealer robbing him blind. Along with the small-time shark on the hunt for some pocket change. I don't like them one bit. Hmm. Crushing them will be a pleasure. For the record, I didn't come here to gamble. After the mathematics bare knuckle, we made some decent cash and went our different ways to celebrate. Infuriated grape ice cream? Apparently, it's sold at the casino and is really good. I'm willing to take you there, but afterwards, the three of us split up. My role is basically watching over Kizuna. Sorry, we're all sold out! No, what? Is this some kind of joke? Do you have any idea how long I've been we'll waiting? We'll talk later, so please come back. What? Don't you dare treat me like a child! I can promise this much, you'll be seeing me again! We look forward to your next visit! Let's go. Man, this was a huge waste of time. Since we're already here, why not do a little gambling? I would, but I have ethics rules installed that keep me from playing games of chance. Hmm? Would you look at that? Uh, it's anti-magic paint! You're correct. Doesn't matter if it's slots, roulette, or poker. Here, we have uh, measures to ensure fairness. Wow! That's one way to stop customers from cheating. An expensive one. But well worth it. So this is where you're hiding, Nick? No use running now. I've got your scent. Join them and fleece Mr. Gigolo. It's pretty clear. Neither of them have a poker face. Why not? I'm in. I'm going to take them for everything they've got. But right now, I'll be starting with this one. to rob each other blind. Face it, you have zero talent for this. You're no gambler, just a rank amateur. You little... If you're afraid to bet your own money, go wager pocket change with your cheap friends. <sighs> to hustle three easy marks. He was easy enough to dissuade. Well, you have my thanks. Hm? I'm not one to tell other people how they should live their lives, but why not ditch him? Uh, is tossing someone in your life aside really that easy? Believe it. You throw people away, and you get thrown away. Is that true? A real gambler knows when to give up. Once you get too attached, you end up losing. I wonder if I'll ever have what it takes to be one. What makes you think you aren't one? Huh? 
Some guys will keep betting on the dark horse and win big in the end. Uh, uh, what's that? Run! There's a monster in the casino! Funny. 
Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this sent me back a few Dina. The pipe's actually constructed using a spirit tree, and the leaves are only specially grown in the south. <sighs> I guess this will be my last smoke. Oh, right. The igniter has some unique qualities. For instance, you can see it has an option where you can disable the limiter. Lightning flash! <laughs> It doubles as a weapon. Ah! Uh! Uh! Crap. My brother used to say, once something changes, it never goes back to the way it was. That was a pretty significant burn, and he's already healed. You just gave away how you really feel. Hey, useless! <gasps> She's your meal ticket, right? Then go protect her! <gasps> Hurry up! <gasps> hey! So clear! I'm not with Belle for the money! <gasps> Quickly! <sighs> I hate to break it to you, but despite what you think, Nick and I aren't friends. <sighs> We're just some broken people leaning on each other to keep from collapsing. Nothing more. We would never help each other. If it meant risking our lives. What is this? I don't smell a lie. She must be telling the truth. No, her scent. It's one of hope and resignation. Pathetic. Trust me. If you hold me hostage, Nick won't save me. Oh, in that case, die! Whoa! Now there's a big cat. An acquaintance of yours? Kinda. Well, I can't have you go and die on me. Think of all the money that I'd be losing. <laughs> you finally showed up. Somebody needs a giant scratchy post. As annoying as ever. Nick, be careful! This guy's not the same cat! Same cat? I don't recall knowing any gigantic felines. The last time you saw me, I was nothing more than a mere kitten. <laughs> Finally embraced the nickname, huh? <gasps> you found out who I was! No, Leon. Wait. <sighs> He's not alone. What? This adventurer has someone else with him. Besides the girl? I was wondering when you were going to notice. Sword of Bonds. I knew our paths would cross eventually. I figured you were behind this sort of evolution. You didn't tell me they were more like you. So he's got a talking blade too, huh? Indeed. However, the owner's barely keeping him under control. It's been centuries since last we met. I'll only tell you once. Stay out of my way. You know that's not possible. Fine. Then you leave me no other option. Leon! I'll bestow upon you my full grace! Irrational moonlight! Are you kidding me? He's even larger than before! He's crazy! The wielder won't survive! The sword's swallowing both his body and his mind! Hey, Kitty! You can't fit on the roof! How are you gonna sunbathe? <laughs> There's no use talking. Kizuna! Try Union! Will it work? It's worth a shot at least. Get ready! Union! Union. <gasps> Where did the others go? Stop it! All I wanted 
to do is rough Nick up a bit. I've sent people flying, guns, women, even children ruined the whole building. I turned a place of fun into a nightmare. That's right. With a single strike, you can destroy a place that was once filled with smiles. Fun, isn't it? Possessing overwhelming power. Behold, everyone is cowering in awe of your strength. They know fleeing is their only choice. Otherwise, death awaits them. Stop it, my enough! It's far too late. This is your true nature. There's no use fighting it. I see it! That fateful day, you freed me from the Mecha Steel Moon Hell Labyrinth. You were already like this. That's why you were able to wield my power. No! All I ever wanted was to be an adventurer, like my older brother! The difference is you are still alive. I still alive! That's right. He was killed by assholes who I thought were comrades. A bunch of cowards! He would do anything for those ungrateful curs, and they stabbed him in the back! Exactly. That's why you hate people. I had every right to. Naturally. It made sense to gradually loosen the rules over time. Until you had the strength to look down on everyone. But life is easier when you're better than everyone else. Because nothing else matters in this life except might. That's how I thought. If someone tricked me, they had it coming. But when I deceived them, it was also their fault. That's why you were chosen. I saw what your future held, and you turned out just as I envisioned. You're wrong! You know it's true. My powers evolve based on whatever the bearer desires. This isn't me! You make it sound like I was evil from the start. I never wanted to be a villain! Enough. This is what you've always craved, Leon. Stop it! Somebody stop me! Somebody, please! Save me! Nick. Whoever you are, don't stand in my way! Don't you realize I exist solely to help him evolve into the strongest hero who's ever lived? What have you done? magic cards, which rendered the Sword of Destruction useless. When the light creating his evolution was sealed, the wielder was cut off from those inner desires. A simple but very effective tactic. people leaning on each other to keep from collapsing. Nothing more. Such a foolish girl. Doesn't she know that's what comrades are? Got a visitor. Huh? Did you come to see the caged tiger at the zoo? Yep. Hmm. He's lost a lot of muscle. Tigerians are a tough race, but that wasn't the only reason he was strong. During our fight, he was able to buy time because he trained hard every day. I do have good news. Huh? You might have totally wrecked the building, but nobody was killed. <laughs> Guess I should have smashed the place up more. Maybe. You won't get the chance ever again. <sighs> I also sealed your sword away. So the blonde girl was really... Now the two of us have a secret. Is that right? <laughs> I should have known. Don't go telling anyone else. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was weird that anyone but you could defeat me. <laughs> Nick. Hmm? You can't get drunk on ale pop by scamming your friends. <laughs> sure can't. I've got a 
keep up the pace. That's right. No pain, no gain. I must be tired. I'm starting to hear Agate's voice. Your persistence is paying off. Uh, is that actually you? Remember, brave adventurer, Agate appears in the hearts of only her most devoted fans, offering them faithful guidance from afar. So are you telling me I finally reached that level? Only if you promise to continue buying her merchandise. Right, that's just my luck. I get to hear her voice whenever, and it turns out to be an advertisement. <laughs> you keep talking to yourself, you're gonna run out of breath. Why don't you take a quick break before you start exercising again? That's a pretty good idea. Thanks for the advice, Agu. Why are you here? <laughs> you're such a stray. Running circles around the park without anywhere to go. Why is that bad? <laughs> Come on, you have a goal, don't you? I guess so. Wonderful. I feel a little less guilty now after hearing that. Guilty? You think that's a bit much? Yes, but then again I did almost kill somebody, so... That's way more than a bit! I'm becoming more and more convinced you're not a stray dog at all. Huh? Know what? I'm kind of relieved that you're proving me wrong. Sorry. It's just sometimes I lose track of what you're talking about. Mm, uh, let me see. So, you remember the day I gave you that ticket? Mm, wait a sec. I want to sort this out in my head. Okay. So I gave you the ticket, and then there was like a war inside my brain. Should I have given it to you? No, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, uh not a literal war. Oh, yeah? Then the day of the concert rolled around. I looked in the crowd, and there you were. And the war in my head started all over again. <sighs> I'm glad I gave him the ticket. I never should have given him the ticket. I mean, you would think I'd feel better after he showed up, right? Yes. When you're an idol, the best thing in the world is when someone cares about you. But there are certain types of people who take it too far. I was worried you could be that type. And then, instead of helping you feel better, I might have ended up ruining your life. I kept wondering if I made the right decision. Now I can say yes. So, um, like I said, well... I'm relieved. You follow? Since we're being honest, if I wasn't an otaku, I might have gone down a dark path. Maybe even chosen a life of crime. But instead, you were there for me, to push me back onto the right path. I think that's what an idol's meant to do. <sighs> Is that it? Don't get angry! I'm happy! It was a good, huh? Mm -hmm. I can safely say this conversation has made me feel a lot better. Huh? I mean, as an idol. Okay. Come on. I am, aren't I? Something was clearly bothering her. Even before our talk, she cancelled all her concerts and public appearances. My name is Belle Haggins. I help out at my boyfriend's bar. Whenever I have some free time, I perform on the stage. Nobody comes to listen to me. But that's fine. Even if it's for my own sake, I still enjoy singing. I was enraptured by your song. You... were? Thank you, really. One suggestion. Uh, You'd have more success if there was an audience. You have a point. <laughs> I should introduce myself. My card. Joseph Coleman, producer. Perhaps you've heard of jewelry productions. If I may, I'd like to ask you something. Uh. Do you wish to become an idol? Uh. Come on, Belle. I told you to kick any weirdos out of here. Right, I'm sorry. My apologies, sir. I take it you own this establishment. And I take it you're not a typical customer? I want this talented young lady to come work for me. How much? Hold on. Let's just say if she agrees, both your dreams will come true. 
<laughs> well, how can I say no to that? Connie? How about this? Come to a show, see what you think. Uh... I assume you're the one I should speak to moving forward. Might as well. I'm basically her manager anyway. Man, I can't wait! I'm so nervous. The energy here is really intense. We might as well have some fun before we go home. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Donnie's words. See for yourself. I'll win big. 
I mean, that ought to make you feel less worried, right? About the future and stuff. In my heart, I knew it was essentially a breakup. So I joined him without saying a thing. I wanted to see for myself just once. Mm. That day, I never expected to meet a goddess at the casino. But that's exactly what happened. Then when Donnie started to win, things abruptly changed. She wasn't a goddess. In fact, she took chips from everyone at the table. That's when I noticed it. A complete change in her personality. At some point during the game, she turned into the avatar of gambling. The entire time, she had eyes on me. If anything, it seemed like she chose to play with us because I was there. It wasn't Donnie or the dealer she wanted to destroy. It was me. And when she was finished toying with her food, she laughed and disappeared in a puff of smoke. In her place was a goddess holding a mighty sword. She could control the weather, and in an instant, she turned the room into a frozen tundra. I was speechless with awe, and yes, fear too. After much deliberation, we've decided to assume responsibility for your financial predicament. Now there won't be anything distracting you from your passion to cook. And yes, not having debt collectors hound you will free up your time. Nevertheless, from this day forward, consider your relationship with our idol finished. A fair warning. If somewhere, someday, you were to see her on the street, you are not to speak a word to this young woman. <clears throat> Walk on by like you don't know her. Otherwise, there will be consequences. <gasps> Belle, what's going on? Please forgive me. Trust me, That's I never enough. meant to hurt. <gasps> I told you, you don't know this girl. If a stranger were to touch one of our precious jewels, rest assured, they would regret it. No, it's all right. It is? I'm glad I got your signature on the documents first. ...while you were still able to use both of your arms. Donnie... ...back when we first met, your dreams sounded so innocent and fun. I wanted to stay by your side and listen to those fantasies forever. I was even willing to quit being an idol for you. But one day, I realized you completely stopped caring about me. That's... not true! When you looked at me, all you saw was an endless source of money. I know that's not who you really are, though. In fact, you're a decent man. But now, having me around is making your life worse. You're wrong. Mm, very well, then. Truth is, I've gotten kind of tired of always betting on the dark horse. So that's who I am. A dark horse. I'm sorry. Gotta say, that's pretty damn harsh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you two, you're a pair of amateurs. <gasps> Listen, Belle. When it comes to gambling, you can't walk away. The minute you do, someone else wins your prize. I'm afraid you're going to have to... Yeah, I know what you're gonna say, Joseph. I'm not worth that much, alright? It's just that, from my perspective, this offer that you're making me, it sounds too good to be true. But that's how gambling works. Till the last card is flipped over... You can never really be certain how things are going to turn out. Just wait and see. Donnie! Huh? Take this. <laughs> you saw her too. The casino goddess. She'll protect you from harm. You dumb girl. What are you trying to do? Give a gambler a heart attack or something? Uh, I didn't mean to. Are you mad? Nah, there's an irony to it. <laughs> I like that. It was quite a stroke of luck the man ended up getting injured dealing with those drunkards. I'm more bark than bite, I'm afraid. I owe you so much. Joseph, 
About that card I just handed him. <laughs> Except your death. You've certainly learned how to speak your mind. Uh, I didn't mean it. Give me a break. After that, I never spoke with him again. Huh? After Agate announced she was taking a break, I thought we'd never see another concert. Then she surprises us with a solo show. Hey everyone, guess who's back? I hope you weren't worried. I just needed to take a break for a while. It's okay. We've been waiting. Come on. Guess what I was up to? What did you do? You went home to your parents. You went to a buffet. You slept the whole time. You walked your dog. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I met a goddess. <laughs> Let's back up. Do you remember that tragic incident that occurred at the casino? <clears throat> Actually... I was there when it happened, and watched as a brave knight battled the rampaging monster. Yeah. When danger was near, a knight in pure white armor emerged from the light. She swiftly defeated the villain and left without giving her name. Yes, the goddess I saw was... None other than the legendary paladin! The what now? Sounds epic, huh? Uh, yeah... After that event, I was sure of one thing. I wanted to give somebody courage. Like she gave me. Later, using her as a muse, I wrote this song, and I hope these feelings inside me reach you. I call this the beautiful paladin. sometimes don't be concerned about your inner monologue let's return to the drink and how at this moment nothing Everything else okay matters now? uh with uh, what exactly well last time it seemed like something was off that obvious huh mm. it was just some worries mm. of course i've got things weighing on my mind i'm human you know you solve one problem, another one rears its head. Or two, maybe three at a time. It gets overwhelming. I hear that. Sometimes four. 
Five. Heck, even six. Once they find you, they don't stay away, huh? I guess that's true when it comes to humans. And stray dogs, too. Still on about that? If they can be strong despite everything, so can I. I think so. What choice have you got? Woof! Woof! Whenever you resolve something that's bothering you, it means you're taking a step forward. Yeah. One step of many. Mysterious phantom stepping man. <sighs> a terrifying figure kidnapping children under the cover of night and hopping around in midair to elude justice so evasive that no one in all of Labyrinth City can stop him. So romantic, don't you think? Depends on what you mean by romantic. If he's a bad guy, then we need to defeat him. You don't have to worry about huh? that. I mean, he's obviously made up. What was that? Stepping man is as real as it gets. Look, they even talk to witnesses. You can't believe everything you read in a cheap gossip rag like that. I know you're out there somewhere, stepping man. What? <laughs> Does someone just say stepping man? Sorry, I'm Olivia Taylor, adventure and writer for Lemuria Monthly magazine. Wait, Lemuria Monthly? My favorite. Always a pleasure to meet a fan. You didn't even know about it till recently. Yeah. Honestly, what kind of idol otaku are you? Time is irrelevant to the strength of one's passion. Yeah. You more than anyone should be acutely aware of that fact. We could all learn a thing or two from Kizuna's enthusiasm. Kizuna? Uh. <laughs> what a wonderful name. So, you're a writer and an adventurer? I may not look it, but I sure am! That's why I'm... Myself, yours truly! Hey, what the? Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Hmm? Uh, thanks. Oddly thoughtful of you. Any reason you're jumping around? Uh. I always take it upon myself to investigate any and all unusual goings on here in Labyrinth City. So tell me, how was your first concert? Hmm, more fun than I expected. And that favorite of yours, Agate, is really something special. So you see what I'm talking about now? Mm-hmm. The light emanating from her soul is undeniably strong. In another era, she would have been a shaman. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Zem needs us! Here, this way! <laughs> Zem! The Phantom Stepping Man? A cheap conjurer's trick. <gasps> Wait, we can't see him. So how are we supposed to fight him? Take that! No way, you can see me? I'm not finished yet! Ready? Parallel! What? <sighs> your face with this. I really owe you for this one, Red. Don't worry, I plan on collecting. This isn't a hospital, you know. What were you doing out so late at night? Also, <sighs> any chance you know who that was? Ease up on the interrogation. She's still recovering. <clears throat> Sorry. I do know. It was Stepping Man. My mom's an honest person. There's no way she would lie. I don't understand. Well, my mom... She wanted to bring down Stepping Man, so she'd go out late looking for him. But he was too much for her, and now she's in the hospital. 
Poor thing. My mom had Stepping Man's number. She was absolutely certain he was the one responsible for all the children who've been disappearing. <laughs> and yet, no matter who she told, no one ever believed her. Well, I can see how they'd be skeptical. Huh? But us, we saw his villainy with our own eyes. <sighs> he hid himself in the darkness, attacked you, and when he was cornered, made his escape jumping from rooftop to rooftop. <sighs> Tell me, young lady, what's your name? It's Reina. Reina, I believe everything your mother said was true. And what's more, I think she's exceptionally courageous to go after such a difficult opponent on her own. Yeah, she is. Oh? Listen, Zem! Oh. I want to study under you! Huh? Study? Under me? Yes! You're pretty darn brave yourself! I was so impressed back there! Hey, Reyna, it's a little bit complicated. Sorry. But you're at least 10, maybe 15 years too young to study under me. 15 years? Okay, <laughs> uh, then what kind of training do you recommend in the meantime? Well, for now, just concentrate on getting some rest. Miss Red here will take care of you. How about this? We'll go see your mom in the morning. And please, huh? don't do anything that dangerous ever again. <gasps> you got it, Master! Uh. Not Master. Not for 15 more years. Until that time, you'll need to keep your distance. Can you do that? Definitely! That's a good girl. Oh, the socks! <clears throat> Goodness. Such a heavy sigh from such a young boy. Turns out my mysterious romantic stepping man is nothing more than a big old phony. At least we're closer to finding out his true identity. <laughs> Who even cares about his true identity? He's just some run-of-the-mill kidnapper. Stupid fake stepping man is starting to piss me off. I want to go catch him myself. We certainly can't let him run free. Not after what he did to Reyna. <laughs> Very well. Let's make a job of it. I should probably warn you, this guild is filled with bounty hunters, so it's a little rougher than most. What have you got on Stepping Man? Don't think I've seen the four of them around before. Yeah, guess not. Look here, Mr. X Masters of War. Sorry to disappoint you, but we can't go sharing information on expensive bounties with just anybody. <laughs> I believe I heard the word expensive escape your lips. I heard it too. So then there is a bounty on his head. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> All right, here. Check this one out. Hardy. Hail Hardy. 300,000 Dina reward. Nothing to sneeze at. Considering you got the Iron Tiger sent to jail, this should be a cinch. Right, Survivors? The Survivors? What do you know? If they're not bounty hunters, then they got no business muscling in on our turf. You should try to hide your jealousy. It's unbecoming. Why don't you amateurs get out of here and stick to fighting goblins? Stop it! Leave me alone! He's pretty impetuous, so please don't mess with him! Let's see how your tune changes after we found this hail guy and brought him back here. This one's infectious too. Not messing with him, though. Very well, then. Let's play some bets, shall we? I'm so sure they can't do it. <laughs> 50,000 on us pulling it off. You were saying... Everything. I bet everything I have that you think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm afraid my friend here is getting a little bit carried away. I'll leave you with some good advice. Get out of here and make some money while we're gone. Don't listen to her, Ash. My money's with you. I'll wager my bar tab on a lady and her friends. I've written money says survivors don't survive. Garbage collection. By far the most dangerous slum in the city. They say every crime there is has happened here at least once. The solar nights never come around. According to the guild, Hale was holed up here, and it was safe to assume they were right. 
first, we had to get past the gatekeep. Haven't seen you here before. You're bounty hunters, I take it? More or less. We don't need an escort. But we do need info. Well, if it's about a bounty, go find it yourself. Just wondering what's been going on. Anything strange happened here lately? Hmm. Well, let me see. One of the whores got sick and dropped dead. Greg the Odd Jobs fellow, his dog had puppies. Ten of them. That's about it. As far as bounties, no one's let themselves get caught in three months or so. Oh yeah, and Greg's offering a 20% discount to all new customers. Not much to go on in any of that, is there? Guess I could mention that girl with the death wish who showed up. But other than that... Wait, what? Alright, thanks. If you get yourselves killed, at least try to do it so you don't end up in the news. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on one last thing. Make sure you don't get in Nalgava's way while he's working. Don't say I didn't warn you. Nalgava? And that would be... Someone who's really important. <laughs> Stinky. You can thank the poor air circulation and water quality for that. Not to mention all the nasty little maggots crawling around the place. This right here's a toll road! Now give me your <laughs> We're looking for a man named Hale. Oh, the former host and ladies' man? That Hale? He's in the bedroom. What's that? <laughs> Building over on the east side. It was originally supposed to be an inn. Good to know. <laughs> hey, if the info's helpful, then pay me for it! Huh, not a chance. <laughs> you. You're doing something you shouldn't. If you don't stop, you're going to die soon. And who asked you? What makes you happy? Is that it? Hey, what's your problem? Answer the question. It helps me sleep. I can't live any kind of normal life in this rotten place. Shouldn't I at least be able to sleep peacefully at night? Not fair! Things weren't supposed to be like this! You wouldn't understand anything about it! That's not true. I do understand. At least... I think I do. This herb has calming properties. You can keep it as your payment. It may not be the strongest, but it's something. So stop using the other stuff, okay? Hey, wait! Hale's a fast runner. If he sees you coming, he'll be gone in a flash. Thanks. We'll take care. So this is the bedrooms, huh? If Hale gets even a little suspicious, he'll probably bolt. We need to be careful. You okay? It's just, with conditions this appalling, it's little wonder people are falling ill. The situation seems hopeless. You know, having a temple in a place like this could really do some good. <laughs> Find him? Well, uh, yeah, he's definitely here. Okay, there anything else? He's a little busy right now. Most bounties use a bit more discretion. Get out of here! Boom! 300,000! 300? What are you talking about, man? That's the bounty on your head. Are you kidding me? That's way too much! All I did was con people, rough them up, and sell them into slavery! And kill them? Uh-uh! No way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the guild will be happy to hear you out. One moment. What are you doing with my patient? Dr. Nalgava! Help me, please! Nalgava? So that's him. Who might you be? You sure don't look like amateurs. Is that right? Well, you sure don't look like a priest. The bedrooms have always been neutral. 
You don't interfere when I'm treating patients, that's the deal. Sorry, but we don't have any deal with you. We came here to capture a bounty. Hmm. And what did he do? Everything except murder, apparently. Can it be? Poor wretched creature. Although I can heal the body, I cannot purify your soul. If he is indeed guilty of wrongdoing, you may take him away. I won't stop you. You gotta help, Doctor! Don't let them do this to me! He has yellow demon sickness. Uh -huh. If he'll be going away for a while, I'd like to at least treat him before he goes. Are you sure? Depending on the outcome, all your hard work might end up going to waste. <laughs> Young fellow, that's not Look, quite... You don't understand. Uh -huh. True, it's entirely possible he'll get the death penalty. Come on, don't put that out there! But still, we ought to do the best we can for him. Whatever else happens. Maybe in the end, he'll be found innocent of the various crimes of which he's been accused. Or perhaps he'll live out his days in prison, right up until he draws his last breath. Quit your hammering and take me away already, you asshole! I take it you're a priest then? That's right. Former priest, technically. Like yourself. Hmm. If I may ask, why are you here? If you have the skill to diagnose a case like this, you could work anywhere. All right, then. How about you? Is it your desire to go back to being a priest? Sure. Huh? I've had enough of all this. <sighs> I have a question, Nalgava. Hmm? About Stepping Man. Have you ever heard that name before? What? Now, why would he know about that? A black shadow that prowls through the night and kidnaps children. I'm sorry. The answer is no. <laughs> Asking about one kidnapper when this place is positively crawling with him. That's the funniest thing I've heard in a while. Now look, the young man seems concerned. If you know something, share it. Well, actually, I can't say it was a kidnapper. But I did see a weird reporter going around bribing kids with candy in order to talk to them. A weird reporter? You really did it. In a single day, too. Well done. No, it can't be. Whoa, you mean they pulled it off? Now then, it's time to settle up, everyone. <sighs> I've got about 800,000. Good enough. <sighs> Hey, hold on a minute. The ones who bet on you get some of that, too. Take this money and buy up all the alcohol you can find. Drinks are on me! Woohoo! Let's hear it for the little lady. Hey, some of that money should have been mine. And you would have spent it the same way. What, are you too good to accept my generosity? <laughs> She's got you there. All right, fair enough. Sorry. <sighs> Thanks for being so generous last night. Here's the reward for Hale and the info on Stepping Man you wanted. Have fun. What do we have here? If you burn green wood in your house, the smoke will keep him away. He knocked a hole in my roof, but when all was said and done, he fixed my gutters. I like him. I stayed up late at night to summon him, and when he appeared, he told me I should go to bed. He was right. Oh, nothing but weird rumors and mistaken identity. If it's all the same, I'd just as soon he went after real-life bounties instead of chasing imaginary characters. <laughs> it isn't the urban legend of Stepping Man that we're concerned with here. We want to find the kidnapper people have been referring to as Stepping Man. <clears throat> I don't know about kidnappers. However... There's someone suspicious talking to a bunch of kids right over there. Huh? A weird reporter going around bribing kids with candy? In order to talk to them? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? She's definitely a weird reporter. And she is giving those kids candy, but even so... Shame you don't remember more about what Stepping Man looked like. All that stands out is how fast they were. Well, that and the fact that they were throwing chains around. Chains, you say? Hmm. Actually, she was weirdly heavy. Almost like she had chains wrapped around her body. No, that's silly. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Kern, Tiana, 
I need you to block the exits. Huh? I'm sure I'm being paranoid, but... Oh, hello, Nick! We were on our way to visit Reyna's mom, and we so ran into... So once you load the kids up with candy and interview them, what happens next? Huh? Next? <laughs> really? You have such an angry look on your face! I imagine being a reporter is the kind of job that keeps you busy. I tell ya, one minute you're sitting there with nothing to do, and then suddenly you're leaping all over the city! From rooftop to rooftop? What now? Be honest with me, Olivia. Where were you two nights ago? Huh? This feels kind of like an interrogation. You can't answer that? Sure can! Editing, went to the bar, my assignment, food! Working on my article and eating dinner was hard work and it was delicious! Oh, I'm sorry! In my excitement, I got two separate events all scrambled up together. Oh no! Oh yes! And thus, my simple alibi became utterly incomprehensible. It happens! Due to my yeah, remarkable Yeah, so anyway, are skills, you stepping man or what? To... Uh -huh. What did you do with all those children? And why did you kidnap them? No, actually, before all that, who are you, really? Sorry, but I'm afraid I'm not exactly sure how to go about answering. <laughs> Serious? find myself having the same dream. Had a bit Please of fun when they still free. I ask huh? you, spare me. Sooner or later, everyone gets what's coming to them. Please don't hurt me. I ask you, spare me. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> survivors, huh? Out of the hospital, Ada. All healed up? Well, well. Turns out I'm famous and I didn't even know it. Wait, Nick. You know her? The swashbuckler of the legendary A-rank party, Grand Chef. That's Ada the Sommelier. Pretty much a living legend. <laughs> I haven't been called that in a while. Not since the adventure of the Platinum Peach with Fifths and his gang. Wait a sec! Uh, not Fifths the Solo Eater! I've heard he's reached S rank now, but when I knew him, we were starting out. <laughs> First off, what do you say for all the trouble you caused? I'm sorry. She's fearless, huh? Where does she get it from? Anyway, she's done with this stepping man business. That's good to hear. It's too dangerous for a young child. But Master! Master, huh? What's that about? He is! He's going to teach me magic and stuff! Listen here, kid. Reyna, uh? I need to address something with you. As far as I'm concerned, we're enemies. Huh? Okay, maybe that was a bit too harsh. Still, though, whenever I see a girl around your age, truth is, it makes my blood run cold. Uh? Long ago... A girl falsely accused me of a crime. You see, because of her, I had to spend years in a jail. <sighs> Later, I was released. But the sight of a girl her age, it terrified me. I'd freeze. My experience left me so damaged, sometimes I couldn't utter a word for hours. Other times, it was even worse. 
There were some occasions when I could barely breathe. Please don't take offense. As I said, it's any girl your age, and I'm not singling you out. Hold on! Then how come you protected me? That's different. Anybody would have reacted as I did, if they saw a child in danger. Although... Something unexpected did happen. Protecting you... It felt almost like I experienced hope again. Hope that maybe I could move on, and might even get over this eventually. When I'm 15 years older... I'm not following. But let me set the record straight. You're never marrying an adventurer. Uh, no, ma'am. I can assure you it's nothing that extreme. Yeah, Mom! <laughs> I want him to teach me, but no way is he boyfriend material. If I was picking one of those, I'd be a lot more careful. Oh my. She's smart for her age. <laughs> it sounds like you just got rejected, Sam. Maybe I'll actually have to reconsider 15 years from now. Speaking as a former member of Grand Chef... <gasps> Do you want me to slice her with the finely filleted strips? I don't think I would provide you many portions. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand what happened. You showed up when she needed help. Let me thank you again. However, you need to give up this pursuit, survivors. I would suggest you forget the whole thing. After fighting them, you ought to understand. There's no way they can be defeated. Thanks, but we don't take orders from you, Miss Grandchef. If an adventurer wants to go after a bounty, he's free to. As of now, you're not strong enough. I'm aware of that, but I can't let these kidnappings continue. We're not going to sit by. That's not your job, though. Leave it up to the Solar Knights. Well, I can't say I like how an urban legend is being used to explain recent events, though, when real kidnappings are happening. No, I agree. But I had to. Huh? The Solar Knights already have far too much on their plate. They won't respond to every single kidnapping case. <sighs> I see. So you relied on the bounty and pushed the Stepping Man angle. That way adventurers would go after him. Right? <laughs> I'm finished with this business. I need to think about my daughter. Can't have her doing something dumb and getting mixed up in this. And I don't want to die and leave her without a mom, either. You asked me, that's the right move? You said we're not strong enough to win right now. All right. Yeah. Then teach us so we can be. Don't tell me the leader of the survivors bows his head and begs for help this easily. <laughs> Frequently. It's the logical choice, says him. Yeah, but that's what makes Nick the best! First things first, drink this. What is it? The smell. This is glory mushroom soup, right? That's amazing, Curran. You know your cuisine. It's a delicacy, and it's not cheap. <clears throat> not bad. So, what's this soup got to do with us taking down Stepping Man? Does it give our party additional luck or something? Those mushrooms will draw out your latent magical potential. Mm. Fighting Stepping Man requires lots of jumping around and switching between melee attacks and dodging, so not an easy task. Whether or not you succeed depends on how well you use magic. Magic, huh? Sorry to tell you, but it's never been a strength of mine. And I can't cast while I'm within melee range. Casters usually spend our time in the back. I'm willing to give it a shot, but I'm not that great with complex stuff. Sounds like the only thing the four of you are good at is making excuses. I don't need tips on how to win. Oh. Hold this and say the following in your mind. One word. Burn. Oh. Is that... Curran, you go first. Take the igniter. Yeah, sure. How come you aren't lighting? You've got to relax. It's broken. Try focusing your mind on your stomach. Why is it not working? I don't need this thingy! If I want fire, I can just breathe it! So it's an issue with concentration, then. Right. Next up is Nick. There. 
Here it goes. Fair warning, I've never been much of a mage. <sighs> then how do you explain that? You did it! Uh, wow! And on your first attempt! I'm just as surprised as you. But a flame this size isn't going to intimidate anyone. I never said you had to fight with fire. I was merely testing you. Oh yeah? Do you think I can pull this off? It depends. Perhaps if you train hard enough. <gasps> Stepping Man uses two enhancement spells, Light Body and Heavy Body. For those of you who will be fighting directly, we'll use Light Body. Let me see you do ten jumps. Easy enough. One, two, three, four, five. You're really good at this. Seven, eight, nine. Can we round up? If you had the most potential, we're in real trouble. they sell at the store, but I can't tell you the first thing about rare artifacts. Fortunately for us, we know someone who can. Huh? You didn't come all the way here to recommend the Dragonian's favorite meat buns, did you? I came to ask for your help. Uh. Do you know any magic items that can conceal or disguise you? Yes, actually. The Illusion King's Jewel. More precisely, the item that uses it. That's awfully specific. I'm listening. Breaking the Illusion isn't the most difficult part. In fact, that's rather easy. All you do is say the user's name aloud. That should shut it down. Tell me, are you Olivia? And you can't just say names randomly. You're strengthening the idea in your mind that it has to be that one individual. If you remain uncertain, the process will fail. You must be sure. So it's not Olivia. Who then? since I've had to train this hard. Kind of reminds me of the old days. Masters of war are no mere adventurers. You can destroy monsters without weapons. But first, focus on improving yourself. Focus. Maintaining it during a fight won't be easy. 
I use Data's files to find specific reports. Damaged roofs, or any recent repairs. I get it. Since he's jumping from roof to roof, if we can piece together where the damage is concentrated... Bingo. We narrowed down their path. Huh? Wait, isn't this... Got any new information? Well, since you asked, two of Greg's puppies died. No more discounts since he figures it's bad luck. Oh, yeah. Someone also brought a child's body to the common graves. Basically nothing new. A child's body? There anything else you can tell us? Are they a boy or a girl? Huh. Don't remember. Couldn't even tell you whether they had short or long hair. It's all a huge blank. <laughs> Happens all the time. I don't like anything about this. Be careful. Uh, telepathy. What's wrong? Somebody is following us. <laughs> they might attack at any moment. anything unusual meaning what <laughs> look closely at her and tell me what you see and be as descriptive as possible go on does her mouth look big or small is her nose pronounced or flat what's her eye color any freckles or scars <sighs> to be honest I can't really say 
She's got eyes and a nose. Hmm? Yeah, I can't explain it. But it's as if nothing is standing out. You're both right. It's very strange. Almost like something is interfering with our perception. Why else would our recognition abilities be jammed on every level? If that's the case... Let's see what's underneath the body. <laughs> A gem. Indeed. From the Illusion King's Jewel. The fragment's jamming feature might be small, but it's still very effective. So that must have been how they got past the Solar Knight's forensics team. The question is, why? <gasps> There's a burn mark on her arm. It looks like it happened a while back. There's a mole on her neck. Treated for yellow demon sickness. Also, she once had a life, and a name too. Whoever she is, someone loved and treasured her. Martha Canning, age 10. Her father sells armor. The shop's on Blacksmith Street. She has a burn mark on her left wrist. Mole on the right side of her neck. Has been missing for a month. Had a habit of running away from home. So her parents were slow to contact the Solar Knights. Without a doubt, it's the same girl. Yes. Let's not forget where she was found. In the garbage collection slum. Very suspicious. So, Stepping Man's there too. There's a good chance. At least coming and going. First off, we should inform her parents. Then afterwards, we avenge her. <laughs> Wait a sec. You know who's responsible? Unfortunately, yes. We must act, before they strike again. What's got you in such a hurry you can't stop to appreciate that beautiful moon? Hmm. While your light body is still undeveloped, your martial arts are decent. Does that make me a stepping man like you? Hmm. Before we fight, something is still bothering me. I never could figure out why you kept doing this even when your M.O. was known. Were you just sticking it to the authorities? Something else? Did you want to get caught? You have me curious why you're so curious. It's the only question remaining. So why not? I don't like loose ends! <laughs> I know why you kidnap kids! Where you've been hiding out! Why it's the garbage collection! <laughs> How clever, but you still don't know who I am. Actually, I do! <laughs> when I heard someone was writing academic papers, it clicked. I mean, who else could possibly be doing serious research out of that garbage heap? Nalgava? Well done. I must congratulate you on your deductive skills. We found the kid in the common grave at the garbage collection. She was treated for yellow demon sickness. It's an infectious disease, which makes you wonder why it isn't spreading to the rest of Labyrinth City. There's a difference in sanitation, but there shouldn't be that much of a gap in infection rates. It feels like there's a human element behind it. At least that's the opinion of our healer. <laughs> the former priest. You've turned the garbage collection into your personal laboratory so you could find a way of curing yellow demon sickness. The kids you needed as research specimens. You talk too much. Still wanna fight? Then let's get this over with! You haven't figured it out yet? I know your every move. And I know all of yours! Ugh. Idiot! You 
Put your full weight behind a strike up here. You think that was a mistake? We got lucky that your nighttime routes were so predictable. Looks like I'm surrounded. No way out. Nalgava. The truth. Why'd you help spread a plague? My daughter died from yellow demon sickness. Which I learned after doing research on you. It goes without saying I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. Yellow demon sickness is primarily sexually transmitted. Most people believe that's the only way someone's able to catch it. <sighs> One day your daughter tried to help, and unfortunately touched the blood of an infected patient. My guess is, she wanted to copy her father, the doctor. However, that's not what the people around you believed. They started making up rumors. Sick, twisted tales of how she got the disease. Even after she was dead, they kept spreading lies. My daughter was innocent, so why'd she have to die? Why would God take my sweet angel from me? It's wrong! But for it to happen so quickly... Maybe... If I could find a way to cure the disease that killed her, at least her death wouldn't be in vain. It would have meaning! That's your reasoning? It still doesn't excuse what you've done. I'd sacrifice any number of random children if it meant finding the cure. There's the problem. As a former priest myself, I was very impressed by the way you lived your life. I respected you. But this is madness. Is there anybody in the world who's exactly what they appear to be? You're so naive. Everyone's got two sides, like a playing card. They show whichever's more convenient based on the circumstances. There is neither a fake side, nor one that's true. Both of them are real. Each with their own responsibilities. I knew what I was doing, and don't intend on running from the consequences. If that's the way you feel, guess that's that. And there's nothing left for us to discuss. Although... I still have to condemn you for what you've done in this life. <gasps> I saw her, the body of the young girl you left in the common grave. You hid her identity using the Illusion King's jewel, don't deny it. <gasps> you need reminding. She had long blonde hair, a white dress, and a scar on her lower arm. <gasps> or have you already forgotten? Martha Canning, age 10! Before I came here, I gave her body back to her parents! They were in tears, losing their daughter. Imagine their pain, not getting to say goodbye, knowing they'll never see her smile again. After they learned her fate, all the other shopkeepers in the neighborhood, their customers, everybody was inconsolable with grief. There's no such thing as a random child. Even if you don't know who they are, someone out there cares for them. After all, it was the same for your daughter, wasn't it? <laughs> Maybe that's naive thinking. Just a platitude. That in reality doesn't mean a thing. All the same, as former priests, shouldn't we strive to be better? Shouldn't the value of human life mean something to us? You would think. <laughs> but you and I are very different. The fact is, I never had any interest in saving other people like you evidently did. During my travels, I met a high-ranking priest merely by chance and curried favor any way I could think of, until eventually he made me one as well. I'm just a small, petty man. You may feel that way, but you have saved others. The people in the bedrooms, for instance. Without a doubt, every one of them is grateful for the extra time they received. That was because of you. Hmm. And yet if they died, others might have ended up living instead. Neither of us has any way of knowing for certain. That's what makes life so interesting. 
<laughs> you switch which side you show every second. <laughs> What's wrong, Nago? <laughs> all you have to do is stop me and it will all be over? Surely you realize it's not that simple. No, you're right. But we can only deal with one thing at a time. And after we're done, we'll move on to the next problem. You really are naive. Yes, I know. But then again, there are some things only the naive can see. Huh? Heads up! Somebody's outside! They're coming for you! <laughs> Confessing. Goodbye, priest. They're wearing conceptual armor. What are you doing here? Helping you. At least that would have been my first preference. But you have said far too much. <laughs> or maybe you didn't like how I smashed up an Illusion King's jewel when it could have gone for 10 million Dina in an underworld auction. <laughs> Using it in that manner never occurred to me, but consider it a gift before dying. A gift? Then why? Obviously, you are careless with disguising yourself so you could entrust them with your hopes. <laughs> You're confusing me with someone else. How could I still have hope after the horrible things I've done? Quick heal! I'm simply paying the price. <gasps> Don't bother. <sighs> He'll die soon anyway. It's nothing but a waste of casting, and on an enemy, no less. <sighs> Why not save your magic? At least that way you'll feel like you had a chance before I kill you. So there's no misunderstanding. It wouldn't make a difference. It was always going to end this way. Fire Dragon's finished! Icicle Dance! Ah! 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 Quick heal! Why do you insist on holding your own party back? But... you're severely wounded. Fool. I really need to tell you? Surely you've noticed how you've made this same mistake when faced with similar situations. <sighs> Look around. See them? Your comrades are taking damage from what's your priority? Trying to save a <laughs> villain like me? But... The truth is, your decisions haven't been made out of kindness. They have been self-centered. In just a few minutes, we'll all be dead. Me, you, your entire party. And all because of your selfishness. Zeb! Union! Let's go! Me? Are you sure? Hurry! You're the only one who can still move! But I don't know. What's wrong? No, wait! Not again. We lost another chance and it's my fault. What do I do? I don't know if I have it in me to fight. Sam, it's up to you now. <sighs> oh, Sam, are you there? Uh, hello? Uh, Olivia's about to buy you time with some very uh, interesting banter. While that happens, uh, make the right decision. Understood. Thank you for helping us, Olivia. I got it! <laughs> Infamous thief of magical items, performer of weird rituals, and arms dealer to worshippers of the demon god. It's White Mass, isn't it? That is correct. And who are you? Newspaper reporter, adventurer, and other things. But mostly a pretty girl who is just passing by. Olivia. You know, there's a saying, knowledge kills. Yeah? Better cite your sources. It was me! <laughs> You like repeating phrases, do ya? Well then, surely you've heard of this one before. Mm -hmm. Moving faster than a speeding Olivia. <laughs> What's another? <laughs> Damn it! Nobody can compete with Olivia's cuteness! <sighs> what are you? I'll leave you with those two sayings. But you better spread them to at least ten people in three days. Or you're gonna experience some bad luck. My attacks aren't going to break through. That's a relic from an ancient civilization. Lucky me. Hurry up, Sam! Right! Shoot
it! That's impossible! How could they have access to a lost magic? You dare wield the sacred blade never used in the last war? But then again, you're Here's something similar. Don't compare us! I'm a thousand times cooler than him! Fascinating. Dungeon create! Great red spot! Olivia! If I die, I swear, I'll be coming back to haunt you. There is no escape. The temperature, gravity, and air pressure are gradually increasing within the dome. I wonder how long a normal human can last in there. How? How could you do such a cruel thing to a perfectly normal pretty girl? Forget repeating my sayings. I'm cursing you now! Olivia! Don't try it! The second you step inside, you'll be crushed under the power of his magic. Here he comes. extended period of time under rubble, their body will go into shock. Don't worry, I wouldn't have had long anyway. Wait a second. <sighs> you don't mean... <laughs> You've heard the old expression, physician, heal thyself? No, don't tell me. He's infected. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of here, or you and your friend's efforts will be in vain. We should go. This place was on the verge of crumbling even before that explosion. The whole thing could collapse on us any minute now. We're going to leave him? We've no choice. But at least, let me ease your pain first. <sighs> I feel so much better. As if I've gone to heaven. Is that a joke? Thought mine were bad. Impressive. <laughs> oh. It's time. Before I go, hmm? I just wanted to let you know how much courage you've given me. I'll be sad, 
knowing you're no longer in this world. Yes, well, when I see my daughter, I'll be sure to tell her about you. My little girl always loved hearing stories about adventurers. Let's move! City. Haven't been there in ages. Remember Uncle Argus? Sure, he gave me a pat on the head. We're seeing him again? <sighs> Did we hit something?
I'm sorry, kid. Welcome to the Sticky Aqueducts. All of the lowest ranked adventurers cut their teeth here. Starting today, I'm one of them, right, Mr. Argus? Yes, and since you're an adventurer, it's just Argus from now on. Every adventurer is equal. Pay attention, Nick. It's important to remember, we have to trust one another. <laughs> Look up there! Chewing grass! It's yummy, right? Just don't let your guard down, or you'll regret it. I know that, Mr. Argus. <laughs> now, do you see what I mean about being careful? <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons I became an adventurer was to earn a living. But mainly, it was to become stronger. To reach a point where I could have helped my mom and dad that night. After I joined Masters of War, Argus presented me with a short sword. Honestly, the fact he thought it would help me learn meant the world to me. But all that's in the past, long gone. I've absorbed what I went through and made it a part of me. The thing is, sometimes I look back and regret. Could I have done something different? If not that one time, some other occasion? If I had given Argus another answer, maybe I'd still be with the Masters of War. If I hadn't tried running, would I have ended up dying beside my parents? What if? What if? my room and how do I know it's her from just the back of her head guessing trapped here looks like it'll rain for a while perfect timing I was wondering when I could get this back I know you my umbrella which means you've got to be wait a second now that I think about it, I never did ask you your name. Who, me? Just a stray dog who loves idols. Is that right? Well, then my name is Agate, and I'm just an idol. <laughs> it was raining the day we met, too. Yeah. You were sitting, soaking wet, didn't bother taking shelter. You made such an impact, how could I not talk to you? By the way, I'm glad I found out you do have somewhere to live. Oh, actually, there's this girl from my agency. Sorry, but are you going to keep talking like this for a while? Am I bothering you? No, I was just wondering. All right, I'll keep going. Okay. I think that's what saved me, running into you that day. Huh? Did you say something? No, nothing at all. Wait, do you sometimes hear sounds that aren't there, Mr. Stray Dog? That's bad. Hush up. <laughs> so, hmm? stay long. Just until the rain stops. Hmm. That'll do. So, Doc, you the one that killed Nalgava? Indeed. That was me. You know what that means? I just want a bet! I told everyone you obviously killed the guy so you could take over and run the place instead! 
went too hard. I don't think you have enough ribs to be making any more bets. Let me explain something, Doc. If I had lost, I would have three more than needed healing. Since you won, shouldn't they offer you some? Uh... I don't think you know how science works. Not inspiring a lot of confidence, gotta say. Medicine's wonderful. You improve people's lives, even if only a little. And while you're helping, you don't have time to think about anything else. Strangely enough, despite all the terrible things he did, I still can't bring myself to hate Stepping Man. I mean, Nagava. Maybe I took over this place as a way to mourn him. Or maybe I'm doing it for myself. Then again, they're pretty much the same thing. I just... Doctor? Thank you for everything. You're welcome. It's no use. I keep waking up again and again. Once again, the promise of some small salvation makes me suffer. I wonder, is that really true? Life can't really be this cruel, right? I want to believe salvation's possible, even if you're barely making progress. What matters is never giving up. People don't gamble, not unless they feel like they can win. But I still come here even when I don't want to. Imitating the life I once had? I'd say I'm a lucky girl. No major problems. It's strange. Nobody's lying to me, or chasing after me. Things are going well. So I'm confused. Why do I feel this way? <gasps> oh, I won. I kept betting, neither making or losing money. The fact is, I'm utterly bored. <sighs> it's so good. I bet Curran would love this. Morning, everyone! Good morning! morning. morning. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. <clears throat> so... Have all you guys been doing all right? Not too bad. Hmm. Still up to it, I see. <laughs> I thought we had an agreement to stay out of each other's private lives. Oh, that's right. For some reason, I forgot. Mm -hmm. What happened with the Stepping Man incident was tragic. There's no getting around that. But it ended exactly how it should have. There's no choice but to accept the life we have now. We've got everything. But for some reason, everyone seems a little distant these days. It's like we're struggling with something, but we can't figure out what. Survivor's law number one, which is... I will not interfere with other people's hobbies. Nothing you say will make me open up. You know, if I wanted to, I could take you out back and... <laughs> I believe you could. Hey, you want to be a doctor here? All right. But you'll need my power if you want to survive a dangerous place like this. Think of me as your bodyguard. I appreciate it. Morning, everyone! Good morning! Good morning. <gasps> Is that the latest edition of Lemuria Monthly? Uh, Sounds like Olivia's still at it. Let's take a look! 
top 100 weirdos of Labyrinth City. Since you're all here... Mm hmm Did you already eat? If not... Huh? Yeah... I opted for the all-night package, and ate a little over at Red's. All I have for breakfast is a smoke. Fascinating. Well, better go and find something before I starve.
where there's smoke, there's fire. And if there's not, it's a gossip rag's job to start one. You do realize you're basically admitting that you're a fraud. Me, a fraud? No, I'd say I'm more of a romanticist. Yes, exactly! I knew you would understand! There's nothing wrong with using poetic license. This black market, hmm? Would they deal in a Dragon King's jewel? You mean yours? Honestly, it's not healthy for me to keep obsessing over Kalios. And yet, I can't focus on anything else. Don't get me wrong, I'm having fun with all of you. But it feels like there's something I've been avoiding. Then go for it. <sighs> if there's no getting over the past, might as well chase after it. However, <gasps> this time you won't have to do it alone. That's true. All you have to do is make it a job. Just like we did with Stepping Man. What do you think, Nick? It's fine by me. After all, we're the survivors. Doesn't matter what we face, we'll always come back alive. Now Gava and White Mask collaborated. That fight proved the two of them had some connection. It's gotta run deeper. I've been hearing a ton of rumors. A villain and a good guy wouldn't know each other, right? They'd be working for someone more evil. And when you follow the chain of baddies, eventually you'll find the biggest one! <sighs> Teaching them a lesson sounds like fun. She manipulated him again. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Huh? We're going to find those guys and catch them. Huh? That's right! You can count